Hello everyone, so in this particular video we will try to understand about the Azure Synapse architecture and the component parts. So in previous video also we understand what is Azure Synapse. So Azure Synapse it is nothing but a, it is a unified analytics service which brings together the data integration part, enterprise level data warehousing and the big data analytics purpose. Okay, now let us try to understand one by one. Okay, so initially when the Azure Synapse was developed, it was developed for the data warehousing purpose. Now it is much more than okay it can also perform the data integration it can also perform the data warehousing and also the big data analytics okay now let us try to understand with the architecture diagram so that we'll get to understand more about it okay so initially what was happening okay so suppose you have a data in the different uh, sources okay so suppose you have a data in a different sources now you have to bring to bring into a common space so, so what actually we were using we were also using a azure data factory right so similarly here also we can use a data integration and if you talk about in a synapse also you can perform all the kind of the copy activity data flow everything you can perform and you can ingest into a common space okay so all the things actually whatever you were performing in a data factory here also you can perform okay so one, once you have a data you we are storing into a dls location right so first is like ingestion ingestion that is nothing but a data integration so data integration also we can perform in a azure synapse analytics right okay so once you get the data into a dls what actually we were doing what we are doing we were actually trying to compute it right so for the computation what actually we were using so for computation what actually we were using we were using a databricks right so databricks spark actually we can use for the computation compute so what are the option we had we had the databricks we have a spark so in a synapse what actually we get we get the the component okay we get the dedicated dedicated sql pool option okay we also get the serverless serverless sql pool okay and third we have is like apache spark apache spark computation okay these are the thing we we get in a computation so that actually we use it for the computation and the final thing which comes into the picture is the reporting and the final thing which comes into the picture is the reporting so for the reporting if you want to a generate report and if you want to show into the form of the visualization so he, in a synapse we'll get a power bi directly connector you can directly connect with the power bi and you can use the visualization purpose and also when we'll do a practical we'll try to understand more about it so but that is how um, it is all the kinds of the things actually we work into common space so for the ingestion data integration all the kind of the uh, uh, data integration things all we can do in a synapse analytics for the computational so previously we were using a data bricks right so similarly here also we can use a dedicated sql to serverless sql to the apache spark so all the computation we can perform here and the for connector we use a power bi so what is dedicated sql pool so in a dedicated sql pool you will get the uh, dedicated uh, like similar to red ship right where we get the dedicated server okay for the computation similarly here also we can use what is the serverless sql pool serverless sql pool is nothing but a whatever whenever you will use serverless sql pool is nothing but a whenever you will use whenever you perform query then only you will be charge then you will be charge only there is whenever you query then only you will be charged and uh, no dedicated server available here so that is the meaning of the serverless sql pool apache spark okay so in next video or later video we'll try to do a practical and we'll try to understand this more about it okay yeah that's it in this video thank you